Welcome back, my friends, to another video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to evolve every single EV or, or EV into every single evolution in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Apologize right off the top if I'm talking a little bit weird, slurred, stuttered. I uh, got a really bad cut on the right side of my tongue and it's grinding against my teeth. It's very hard to talk, but I wanted to bring you guys this video anyways. Um, now, the first question is going to be, where do I get an EV? Um, which, if you look at the town map right here, uh, Route 4 is going to be where you're, you're going to want to go. And uh, usually they spawn in the tall grass around here, around this area. Um, I haven't seen a wild uh, EV here personally. Uh, oh, yeah, there, <laughs> there's one right there. So there, there's EV right there. I'm not going to pick it up because I actually bred uh, the one I had. I got a bunch, but you can see exactly where they spawn. Oh, there's another one. So, yeah, kind of where these kids are running around. If you actually had, um, if you played Let's Go Eevee, you can talk that kid in the Eevee suit, and uh, it'll give you, uh, the kid will give you one. Or is it this one? I don't know. One of the kids in an Eevee suit. The same thing with uh, the Pikachu version. There's some kid in a Pikachu suit somewhere. I think he's over, over there. Yeah. Uh, and they'll give you the... Um, uh, a Pikachu or an Eevee, depending on which version you played. So we're going to start off with the most obvious one. So if you have a Leaf Stone and you give it to one of the Eevees, it'll evolve it into uh, a Leafeon. I'm going to let this play out so you guys can see. So as you guys can see, it uh, turned into a Leafeon by giving it a Leaf Stone. And uh, very, very, very simple. Um, previously in other games, you had to um, you had to uh, bring Eevee to a certain location uh, with a Moss Rock. But now you just give it um, a Leaf Stone and you're good to go. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to give um, an Eevee a Water Stone. And if you guys know what a Water Stone will do, it'll turn Eevee into a Vaporeon. Check it out. Alright, so for the next one, we're going to give an Eevee a uh, Firestone, and it will turn into a Flareon. Um, and yeah, I don't know, check it out. All right, so for the next one, we're going to give an Eevee a Thunderstone, and it will turn into, you guessed it, a Jolteon. And then for the final one that will be using uh, a stone, uh, if you give an Eevee an Ice Stone, It'll turn into a Glaceon. If you go to the uh, Pokemon uh, nursery right here in the wild uh, area, which I'll show you guys exactly where it is, um, the best way to get the stones, because I'm sure you guys are wondering, well, how do I get the Thunderstone, the Leaf Stone, all this stuff? Uh, if you go right here, uh, there's these two brothers that you can pay watts to in order to dig things up for you. Uh, right here. Uh, the one on the right normally finds more stuff, but the one on the left finds better stuff. It doesn't really matter. Just try it out. 500 watts each. And um, you get watts from obviously visiting uh, any of the pink uh, max raid dens. I'll show you guys really cool what it looks like. This is honestly just what I did to get all those stones. Uh, if you look around and stuff, eventually you can find stones as well. And those like Pokeballs sitting around, things like that. Um, but uh, he finds all kinds of stuff. Stardust and, and stones and, and all sorts of things. Things you can sell. Things you can use. So right there, I got a Thunderstone. So as you guys see, this is the best method. Just do that until you have one of every single stone. And then you can evolve those other Pokemon into those uh, special evolutions. So that leaves us. That's five EV evolutions. That leaves us with three more because there's a total of eight. We have Umbreon, uh, Espeon, and Sylveon, which all have very specific requirements. So for the next three Pokemon, uh, two of them, Espeon and Umbreon, you need to 
up their uh, friendship level. One of the ways to do that is with the Soothe Bell. So if you go to the house right to the right of the uh, Pokemon uh, Center in Hammerlock, there's this blonde girl right in the very back. If you go talk to her, she talks about how, you know, Pokemon and friendships and being stronger and stuff. And she actually gives you the Soothe Bell. So if you give your Pokemon a Soothe Bell, it'll raise their uh, friendship level. As you guys read right now, it uh, makes it more friendly. Um, now, this is also a spot where you can actually check um, your friendship level for your uh, Pokemon as well. Another way is to uh, catch an Eevee in a Luxury or Friendship Ball. Uh, keeping it in your party will also raise up its um, its uh, f uh, friendliness, its friendship level. Uh, feeding it certain berries, feeding them curry in your Pokemon camp, um, keeping them in your party as you travel, and uh, a, a couple other things like that. So if you guys are not aware to give your Pokemon uh, the Soothe Bell, you're going to go into other items and under uh, like the little candy icon in your bag. Uh, you're going to click Soothe Bell and you're going to give it to an Eevee. Your Pokemon is now holding the Soothe Bell and that is going to increase its uh, friendship level and uh, make things a little bit easier for you. So, as far as berries go, unfortunately, any berry that makes it more friendly is going to lower some of its base points. So, for example, this one here, the, uh, the Hundu Berry, uh, will make it more friendly, but it lowers its SP attack base points. Uh, same thing with, uh, where was it here? Uh, this one here, SP defense base points, and there was also uh, these two right here, speed and defense. So, uh, it depends, honestly... Uh, you know, if you care about those stats, if you do, then obviously, you know, find a different way to, uh, to, to level it up. Uh, I don't really care for the sake of this video, so I'm probably just going to use some berries, uh, to make it a little bit more friendly. So, if you go into the house where you got the Soothe Bell and talk to the little boy right here, uh, he's gonna, he's, he can tell you, uh, the friendship level, basically. So, if I check this Eevee, uh, I've given it, like, 27 or 28 berries for friendliness. He says, you two get along great together is always better am i right so it seems like though it should be okay so all you have to do now is level it up so there you guys have it it is working so that's what uh what you want the little boy to tell you that uh you guys get along great that is the key and uh there you guys have it espion right there congratulations your ev evolved into an espion now if you want it to evolve into an umbreon it's going to be the exact same thing but it has to be nighttime which i think is 7 p.m and forward which is about to be 7 p.m here so i'm going to try again in a couple minutes and you'll see uh just in a second that i'm going to do the exact same thing but at night for umbreon all right my friends so it took me a little while but um i got an ev evolving which should be into an umbreon as it is nighttime right there boom umbreon we have it congratulations your ev evolved into an umbreon so i did the exact same method but at night now, like I said, it was 7 p.m. Where I, where I live. Ended up getting a second Espeon instead. Um, because I guess 7 p.m. was laid up. So it has to be, I guess, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. There is a way to cheat that system. You guys can see right now the night, the sky is uh, nighttime in the wild area. The wild area is the only time that will actually show you nighttime when it is actually nighttime. So if it's dark in the wild area, then you know it's nighttime. Uh, but the cheat to this is going to your system settings and change clock. You see at the top right corner says it's 916. It's actually 716. I put it a couple hours ahead. So it would be nighttime. But anyways, that's how you get Umbreon. And we got one more left, which is uh, Sylveon. All right. So for Sylveon, the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, it's going to have to know a fairy move. So best way to do this is TMs. I'm going to teach it Charm, uh, which will teach it a fairy move. And then after that... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a Pokemon camp. And you're going to, you're going to want to play with uh, your Eevee until it gets uh, two hearts above its head. So basically what you're trying to do is raise its affection. And uh, so you can take out a to toy pushing Y. Now, as of right now, the only way I know to raise its affection is like this. Um, affection is not the same as its friendship rating. Uh, so you just play with it for a while. Eventually, uh, it'll have hearts to pop above its head. Once it has two hearts, uh, then you're good to go. As soon as you level it up, it'll turn into a Sylveon. So the way to know if it'll have two hearts above its head is you can speak to the Pokemon when you're when you're not playing with it. Right there, there's two hearts above its head. And uh, now we know we are good to go. So I'm going to level up Eevee using some candy. 
And uh, all should go as planned. Eevee is evolving. It should be into a Sylveon. We will find out in just a second. I did all the required steps for Sylveon. And there you guys have it. There is your Sylveon. The eighth and final Eevee evolution or evolution or Eeveelution rather in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So as you guys can see, we have Leafeon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon, Glaceon, Espeon, Umbreon, and Sylveon. And unfortunately for me, I ended up getting an extra Espeon, but that is okay. So there you guys have it, friends. That is how you get all eight EV evolutions in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you found the video useful and if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, guys, and you will catch you guys very soon in another video. And like always, until then, game on.